Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I got a video I've been waiting to shoot for a long time, at least six months. This is the Fifth Ops Alarm Signaling Device. So I've been waiting for a chance to get out and test this, and today is the day we're going out to test it. And I wanted to show it to you really quick. This is awesome if you live in an area where you have unsupervised areas around your house. Maybe alleyways or walkways. I wouldn't recommend this for an urban environment, but for a rural environment, this is a really cool thing to have. It lets you know when somebody's where they shouldn't be, essentially, and it's an alarm signaling device. So we're going to open it up and I'll show you how it works. It's made by Fifth Ops. Yes, they really spell it that way. F-I-T-H. I have to actually look at it. It's called the Fire in the Hole, and I will... Um, Put a, uh, put a link down below where you can pick one up. They're not as cheap as they used to be, but they're still out there. All right, so here's the actual device itself. Okay, You're going to unscrew the bottom here, and that is where you place your primer. Okay, This is your brake on the end there. This is where your safety will go here, Okay, and this is where the top pin will go. When you pull that up, you'll see a hole in there, if I can get it up high enough, there we go, where you'll put your top pin, your cotter pin, okay, and that will pull out and will activate the device. You'll notice I'm being rather careful with my words here. <laughs> so, anyway, this is what a 209 looks like. If you've ever seen them, they're extremely loud. I would not recommend doing these indoors. It will sound like a shot, but they'll fit in like that right there, okay? Now, this is something you want to be very careful with. You're going to screw this back in, but you're going to activate the safety device first. I'm not even going to screw this in in the house here, but I want to put the safety in first. So when you're done, it'll look something like this. And this is so you don't activate, accidentally activate this. You will then screw this piece in here, like that. And as I said, I'm not going to screw it in there. Once that's fully done, you'll pull it the rest of the way up and put in your cotter pin on top. Now, this can be screwed in with this here. They show it as if that's how it's going to work. I'm kind of, let me take the primer out of there. Kind of wondering how that's going to work, but I guess it will, yeah. Okay, so you're still good there. You won't pierce it when it slams forward. And that's how it's going to work. So we're going to take this out. It's a very simple device. They run uh, about $35 now. They've gone up in price. There are cheaper ways to do this. Don't get me wrong. You don't have to buy this one. There are cheaper ways to do it. But uh, I think this is kind of just a neat device, and I've been waiting to review it for a while now. And I'm finally getting a chance to get up there and try it out. So we're going to take it up there. We're going to try it out, see how loud it is and what it sounds like. I'm going to try and put the camera really close to it. We'll do a slow motion as well if I can get it through slow-mo. And uh, we'll give it a shot. on the cord, see how well this thing works from a distance. Back it up a little bit. Here we go. That's definitely nice and loud. <laughs> definitely will work very, very well. And you have your pin retained there. So definitely works. Very cool. All right, so you saw what it did. You saw how it worked. Looks like it works pretty well. Uh, it was definitely loud. <laughs> so that's why I wanted to make sure we did it outside. So like I said before, you, there are cheaper ways to do this. I will put a link down below. I just thought it was kind of a neat thing. Something kind of fun to cover on a, on a lazy Sunday. <laughs> so... That's how it works, and uh, I will put a link down below. Like I said, they're not cheap. They're about 35 bucks. but uh, if you want to get one of these and string it, say, somewhere where people shouldn't be walking on your property, it will give you a heads up. No one's going to get hurt, but you'll know something's going on out there, and uh, it's definitely a handy way to do that. Anyway, folks, I thank you for watching. I will put the link down below for this. Don't forget to check out our Amazon store as well, and don't forget to check out our Food for Patriots link. That's preparewithiridium.com. Now is definitely a time to start getting stocked up on food, and they have it all in stock and ready to go, so make sure you check them out. 100 bucks off a four-week kit for a family. That's not bad. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.